just give us the same size rings, bitches. Forgotten Rock, the two-time champion. I actually believe in their talent. These are two 20-year-old kids that have never played in front of a crowd. They've never played in an environment like this. Hook, line, sinkers. They got two guys that can pitch. My favorite to win is the team that I picked and seeded at number one before the tournament began, and that's Lovius. Looks so happy. Um, let's pull battle. Of what, forgot what numbers? Three. We filmed the first one last January, second one in August, and now here we are for three. You're in the head of the technical area, and you know, all this different stuff, and it's a lot different than the first Blitzball Battle. We were using GoPros and cards, and now we've got all this. So it's nine day for Blitzball Battle 1. One run game. Every single tournament, the warehouse takes an evolution. We have a, a switcher, we have a bunch of monitors up, we have a state-of-the-art audio system. We got two audio guys, we got replay operators, we got a couple camera operators, we have a director, uh, we have the booth, we have the umpires, we have operators on the floor, we got PAs. Now to a whole team of people working together, it's actually been pretty crazy to watch. It's like a, uh, it's like a, uh, like a local news station. We're live switching, uh, calling for replays and like, you know, right? They're like, uh, hey, show camera two. And I've had the good fortune of covering 17 Super Bowls, 16 World Series, Fox, CBS, NBC, ESPN. They would love to have a setup like this. Remember the one where you I tipped it? That, Remember the one where yeah. I tipped it and like screamed? I was like, that should yeah. never get. It's because I knew. He tips his fastball so hard. You can Cause tell he just exactly comes straight over the top. You can tell it down. I get throws out that way. One out, runner on second for Team Caden. I thought that might have been gone. Jake, bring him on home, Jake. Bring him on home. Yeah, so obviously I play a lot of blitz ball. I play with just with my friends, either at a park or a rec field or something like that. And so to come indoors to a warehouse that's like been tailor made for games like this and blitz ball like this is, is it's wild. A uh, very different game from what we play at home, but there's elements that are the similar. I think I think the best trade our team has is play discipline. We've we've played blitz ball for the longest time, so we've known the strike zone. So when a ball comes in, we kind of tell the spin on it, and then we know whether it's going to hit the strike zone or not, which can make opposing pitchers a little bit annoyed because they, then they're forced to throw strikes, and that's when we can hit the ball. He's that guy. He's, He's that, that guy. guy. We are those guys. I'd say Lovius is the team to beat. Lovius, Dalton's really good pitching. Dalton's really good hitting. Nick is really good pitching. Nick is really good hitting. So you don't get a break. I think we're one of the few teams that can hit and both of us, both of us can hit and both of us can pitch. I think there are five teams that can actually win this thing, that have like a legitimate shot. I can see, yes, they can raise the banner in the warehouse. Como and Lovius. Hopefully we get that matchup either in the semifinals, the finals, wherever it may be, because I think that'll be one hell of a game. This tournament keeps getting better and better. Uh, we got Como coming in, we know about those guys. Uh, we got Ice, Zoe's getting so much better. We already know what Jack can do. Baggage, looking for a bounce back from them. We should be the favorites. Uh, I guess I gotta mention right away, I don't have my guy Vinny Rotino here. He got caught up. I don't know how much I can talk about it. We got Dan Work with me, and uh, I'm working on some confidence with him. I think I'm gonna get it. I feel really good, I do. My body's like nice and refreshed. Got a good sleep last night, ate some breakfast. Had two energy drinks so far today and coffee. Doing good, man. Feeling good. Very confident. We'll be back in the championship, no doubt. We were able to find a lot of interesting statistics, like Joe McFly never recording an out. I'm always tinkering. I need to get an out or two. I mean, you can ask a couple of people around here. I'm always trying to do something. We got to win here. We got to win. We got to upset. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we're trying to be goofy, daffy, spoofy, and daddy. Not daddy. Goofy, spoofy, and doofy. We're just we're trying to have some fun, but also when you get out on that floor. It's hard to do. When we went to Hudson Valley, the Renegades, the uh, Yankees high A team, we played with K Mac, so we invited them to the warehouse. Taking a win today. Score more runs. Obviously. Drew Davis, uh, Dan Canobio, two guys that can throw the ball. I think that's going to be really important in this tournament. This is my dad, Bob Canobio. Keep ball down to blue. Can you possibly pitch around him? 
Bob Kenobi always has the scouting report. Who's well, gonna take the win? Brunt. You're gonna need to get on this. East Baggages Tournament. What's that? East Baggages Tournament to win? Should be. We're gonna compete, you know? Do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? I think you gotta start having more fun. You're very stressed out there. You look very stressed. Knew what Jimmy was coming with. Middle, middle, man, he didn't miss it. To see him come through in that kind of moment, this might change his life. Good for Zell. Good for Zell. Team Baggage checking in as the sixth seed in the preseason. So here we go. Opening day, Blitzball Battle 3, presented to you by Shady Rays. The two seed, Nikki Cass and Dalton Feely and Love Yous, delivers the first pitch to Jake Storiali, former league MVP. 